Good morning or afternoon. Good evening, good day. It's gorgeous, you're hurting hippie. Trying to make it through this day. You've read the title. Yeah, uh, fibromyalgia or any chronic illness with the common cold is an awful thing. But fibro even more because with fibromyalgia, every issue you have flares up. My fog is foggier. My neck is neckier. My neck is in more pain. My breathing is shallow. My, uh, oh, my back is absolutely horrible. I d don't thumbs down just because I'm complaining. I haven't. I'm, uh, knock on wood, <laughs> too late because I already got it. I haven't had a cold in two or three years. And I'm very scared of getting colds with fibromyalgia because they do really flare up the entire thing. But too late. Gordy, my older boy was sick yesterday. We tried to keep Pasha away, but he had to spend three hours here and then go home to his mom. And that was enough. He caught what Gordy had and I caught what Gordy had. Pasha's homesick at his mother's house for now. I think he has to come over here tomorrow. I have no idea how long we <coughs> are going to be down for. I did want to read this because people with chronic pain, our pain isn't forward. Our pain isn't visible. Most of us anyway. Some of us, uh, let arts live, I, my heart's going out to you, you know, you lose a limb, you, th things like that are very visible, people see it, yet people don't have as much compassion as they used to because they're afraid of putting themselves out there. Society has done that to us. But I I have always felt for those with the invisible illnesses, the chronic illnesses like fibro, like like um, IBS, like uh, Lyme disease, any of those autoimmune issues, they, people don't see it. Even people who know you have it, forget you have it because they don't see it. It isn't visible. <clears throat> and then when you come down with something on top of it, you just sound like a complainer because I'll tell you, I usually, so many people have said to me, Gord, I couldn't do what you do. I couldn't keep the positive outlook, the spirit, the joie de vivre that you have. And I say, my friends, you see me for 10 or 15 minutes a day. Usually, not today, in my best light, in my best ability, I'm putting my best foot forward. You are not seeing the rest of the day where I'm not hiding my pain because I don't want to come on here like I am today and complain and feel bad and invoke sympathy or the opposite. I don't want to do that. That isn't what this is about. This channel is about invigorating people, about showing your best foot forward. So this time, this time I'm putting it inside. This time, I mean, sorry, this time I'm putting it outside. I'm I'm letting people know how I feel. You can tell with my voice I can barely speak. But I found I'll put I'll put a link below. It's a very short thing, but it didn't print completely. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of it, but it says really well how I feel. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, maybe it's just a cold or just a sinus infection. But to us, people with fibro, it feels like a terrible flu. No, this is not comparable to a man's cold. There are the symptom, these are the symptoms we already have every day, mixed with new symptoms of whatever we have. 
Take my fibromyalgia. Every day I feel like I'm carrying around 20 pounds on each arm the whole day. My head swims and I'm often confused. My joints hurt every time I move. Yeah. Even more so if there's bad weather. And some days I have so much pain I can barely get out of bed. My body itches. Oh yes. My joints grind. My muscles are tight and won't loosen up, and I have problems seeing straight. Now, add the symptoms of a common cold, shall we? More muscle pain? Yeah, it gets worse. Nasal congestion, runny nose, coughing, sneezing, chills, fatigue, fever, watery and itchy eyes, sinus pressure, headaches, chest pressure, and discomfort, sore throats, and mucus buildup. Add all that to things that we already feel. And I'm just going to just briefly touch on uh, fog, inability to concentrate, headaches, neck aches, tightness in the jaw, uh, chest pains, horrible chest pains without the cold, without the cold, fibro chest, look it up. Uh, ribs always hurting the shoulders terrible terrible pain the hands all hands and feet always in pain arms itchy and twitching sometimes you get the same twitches in your face moving down hips always off legs often sore mostly by the end of the day and the feet in pain and that's not to mention all the other issues of anxiety and everything else that goes with it. So I wanted to come online. I actually thought I wouldn't do a video today, but I usually don't do one on Saturday and I want to keep Saturday to me. So today I decided to come out and say, howdy y'all. I am here. I'm not well, but that doesn't mean we don't do what we always do yeah little known facts today the small indents on the bottom of frozen pizzas are there to prevent air bubbles from forming inside the dough i know good big deal the term footage in the movie industry comes from films being measured in feet. When being edited in the early days of filmmaking. They're kind of dull ones today, but Gord's brain is dull today too, so I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry it's a short one, but your hippie's a short one anyway. Peace and cheers. Love and harmony.